Good morning and welcome to Around the Table. I'm your host, Daniela Galdi. Thank you all so much again for joining me. Today we are talking about the latest trend in fashion, which I don't know if you know about yet because it's pretty new, but I've got the pioneer here with us. This is my guest, Nancy Connor. Nancy is the founder and CEO of Smart Adaptive Clothing, and she has the most genius, innovative clothing line out there right now. And you'll start to see, she is the pioneer, but people are picking up on this trend because we're trying to be more inclusive. Right, So exactly. welcome to the show. Thank first you. Of all, thank, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Uh, thank you. I'm so happy to have you here. And just because of all the innovative and inventive things you are doing, for making fashion inclusive, adaptive, helping those with disabilities, injuries, long-term, short-term, things like that. Uh -huh. But then there's also a lot of style, which we'll talk about a little later. But tell everybody who's watching, Nancy, what is um, adaptive clothing? Great question, thank you, Daniela. So adaptive clothing is for folks who struggle with dressing themselves or someone else. And my version of adaptive clothing is I keep the buttons on the front placket and the cuff of a blouse or shirt, but we strategically sew on Velcro, and it's also behind the placket here. And there are other versions that have magnets or zippers, but for me, I thought Velcro was easier. It's easy to wash. You can wash and dry our tops, our blouses and shirts, and that's what makes it adaptive. It could be for someone who has neuropathy, maybe after cancer treatment, or they don't have dexterity anymore, mobility, arthritis, Parkinson's. So it really is for everybody? Uh, it's almost for almost everyone. For everybody. So, and I love that you mentioned arthritis, things like that, because I think that's also something very common that people don't realize over time can develop, right? right? And, uh -huh. and I, don't, um, you know, I don't know too much about it, I just know that it's uncomfortable. Uh -huh. And what you are working to do, which I love so much, is make sure people have that quality of life. Right. And so tell me a little bit about how this started. Okay, thank you. Of course. So it was, my father is the inspiration. And my dad was in assistant living because he needed help. And my father was someone who always wore a nice button down shirt and slacks. And then he broke his hip. He broke his hip, then he broke his hand, and then he broke his hip again. Oh my goodness. I'm it so was, sorry. thank you. Yeah. It, it was hard to watch. And the nurses and aides stopped dressing my dad and his button downs and slacks, nothing fancy, but they start to put him in, put my dad in pullover sweatshirts and sweatpants. And I also had power of attorney over my dad because coincidentally he had Alzheimer's. So my father didn't know how he looked and he never, ever, ever would have presented himself to the world that way. And I thought there has to be a better way that someone can have their dignity and maybe maintain or regain independence and it, this is also for the caregiver sometimes I feel like it's more for the caregiver because that person is dressing a loved one a friend a neighbor or in a professional setting like my father had so I left my career after 25 years in corporate America and started smart adaptive clothing about a year and a half ago Wow well congratulations because Thank it's you. had a lot of success you're actually a part of a Design Philly contest, correct? And yes. your recent finalist on the big find for QVC. Yes. Oh my gosh. So she's getting the word out and people are realizing that this is so necessary. Mm -hmm. And I love that you mentioned two things. You mentioned about dignity, because that's a big thing. And Huge. when we can't, you know, dress, our, we can no longer dress ourselves or, you know, we find that we're finding simpler solutions that really don't represent us well, but we do out of, you know, um, we do out of Pardon me. no that's okay thank you so much I really appreciate you sharing that story because uh -huh. you've been through a lot and and you can still honor your dad's name so I appreciate you sharing that thank but, you um, the dignity part and and you know that is huge I think for people and then also the fact that you've been as I said the pioneer for this and you started it after 25 years you know of being in corporate America because you <laughs> felt like we need this. Yes. And that's an inspiration yeah. to everybody out there. So I just want to know, you know, what's what was your biggest inspiration aside from your father, but for yourself? Because you mentioned the caregiver and mm -hmm. you were the caregiver. Right. So what was your biggest inspiration for you? What did you want to see with this line? That's a great question. So to, to answer it, I mean, it's so big. It's such a huge need. It's almost limitless who we can help. I wanted to see people who 
had their dignity, could either maintain or regain independence, could build confidence, save time and frustration, and look stylish. So there has been clothing out there for years. I mean, the need isn't new, but I wanted people to look stylish, where the, the blouse here today is for women, and we have darts in the front and the back, it's tailored, and then we have these fun trims on the cuff and inside the collar. I love it, I love all the patent patterns, because you mentioned it's something stylish, that you don't have to lose that trendiness, that style, right. because you're dealing with something else that might limit you, right? Right. So, um, and I, you know, what's interesting is I know you are the founder of this line. You walked in today and I thought, man, I love that shirt. <laughs> and, and I thought, oh my goodness, that's one of our shirts, you know? So they really do look, you don't realize that the effortless work is there with everything you've built into it. Thanks. It looks very sleek and you'd never know. You'd Thank never you. know. So it's amazing. What did it feel like the first time you saw your shirt? made or come to life <laughs> oh my god i was over the moon so i made prototypes myself in my home because i had to communicate my vision right and then i found a pattern maker i found someone to make the clothing it's currently made in philadelphia that's great yes and then once i saw the the first blouse made and the first shirt for men i literally just burst into tears from being so happy and grateful like this is happening yeah. and that's what I say all the time this is ha being on your show this is happening <laughs> so. we need a shirt called this is happening yes. it's gonna be full of color and pop so <laughs> and I know that your shirts do have that and you're coming out with more patterns and things like that so tell me about how you come up with the designs and the colors and things like that really really that's the fun part so <laughs> You know, talking to uh, potential folks, doing focus groups, going out in nature, right? Looking at the colors out there and trying to see, basically give the people what they want. Okay, okay. And it's, it's that style and it's being empowered and being included. And that's a big part of what I'm trying to do because folks who have had these dexterity issues, mobility or disabled, everyone I'm trying to help they've been overlooked for years. Mm -hmm. So I want everyone to feel empowered. And oftentimes if someone has a disability and they're interviewing for a, a job, if they don't have quote, appropriate clothing, they don't even get the interview. Wow. And That's now that it, is seriously heartbreaking. It is, I mean, it's 2019. And it also happens if someone's already in a career position, but they're trying to get promoted and the same thing, they don't have appropriate clothing, they may be overlooked okay. because someone else has that. So you're able to provide them so much more than, a, a, you know, along with that dignity, yes. along with, you know, wow, I love this. I, I really, I'm so, I, I'm very grateful that you took this step to do it. And, and again, I think it's just a such, you're such an inspiration to take that step. There's a need out there. And that is the true meaning of an entrepreneur. You see a problem and you go with the solution, right? Thank you. So mm -hmm. it, it's amazing. Now, did you, you had some resources, right? Did, can you share any resources for anybody out there who has that idea and they're like, what do I do next? Especially in the fashion world. Right. <clears throat> well, that's the biggest step is the first step. Just try. Because you don't want to go through life and say, what if I did it 30 years ago, right? Right. And there are a lot of entrepreneurs out there, and something I heard at a talk was, there are a lot of million, a million dollar ideas in the cemetery because no one tried. They could have had the best idea, but that person didn't try. Wow. That's actually giving me the chills. I was, same here, same here, because I, I mean, that really, that hits you when you say it that way. Right? How many of us have ideas that we've sat on, and, and that first, like you said, I love what you said, first step is trying. Right. So, you know, so, so how did you do that first step? Um, well, actually, I, I went and I took a course that was part of Damon John. He's on Shark Tank. Okay. And I was part of his program and did the um, mentorship, had mentor for about five months, et cetera. So I just jumped in, like, all in. You went right to the top. I, I did. <laughs> I did. Okay, that's I great. Did. Yeah, so I mean, I respect him. I think he's awesome. I watched Shark Tank and um, 
I also watch Shark Tank. Yes. <laughs> we love Lori and Barbara yes, too. All of them. <laughs> yep, all of them. So you went right to the top. You were able to get that mentorship for five months. So yep. things can, can take time. Yeah. Um, so, so that's a great lesson, though, is that you got to try, but you don't want to give up. And you are, up. again, you're the epitome of not giving up because you have these amazing shirts. You've got amazing things in the pipeline. And what we are going to show you when we get back from the commercial break, go grab your coffee, go grab your tea. And when you get back, we're going to do a big reveal for you because Nancy has brought some of her shirts and also a lot of tips for you at home if you are experiencing any um, disability or injury or something that's holding you back that you still want to have that dignity, right? Right. Um, but then also, if you are the caregiver, you know, ways to help. So stick around and we will be back after this commercial with Nancy and her smart adaptive clothing. TV is a platform for people of any industry to share their story. Over 285,000 viewers are tuning in to RVN TV shows monthly. We guarantee a great experience that you'll be sharing with everyone you know while increasing your personal and company's brand awareness. But what is your brand? According to Forbes, it's a combination of your logo, your product, your design and feel, and your personality. Did you know that aside from being a guest, we offer even more opportunity to boost your brand? Adding your company logo and website on screen during your interview will allow viewers to recognize your brand instantly. Incorporating images and video clips is another great way to showcase your product during your live segment. Let viewers see how good you really are. And most importantly, there's you and your interview. For less than the cost of a newspaper, direct mail, or a magazine ad, you can leave our studio and within 48 hours have a permanent digital copy of your live segment to link to your social media, embed into your company website, or use in email marketing. Investing in your brand is so very important, and we can't wait to have you as a guest. Shelter dogs aren't broken. They've simply experienced more life. If they were human, we would call them wise. They would be the ones with tales to tell and stories to write. The ones dealt a bad hand who responded with courage. Do not pity a shelter dog. Adopt one. Say we've got grit and we'll take it as a compliment because it's our uncommon drive, our spark within that brings us together and sets us apart. We are temple made. And when others take shortcuts, when others take breaks, when others take the easy way, we take charge. Add us on social media to watch bloopers, behind the scenes footage, previews, and more. I work 13 hours a day, six days a week. So when I'm off the clock, I gotta get stuff done. So when I need a snack, I need something healthy, tasty, and easy to eat. Like wonderful pistachios without the shells. They're protein powered, delicious, and great on the go. And that's perfect for me. Thanks, Liz. A woman without a lot of time. Whether you're a gourmet cook or just want to eat like one, visit Rostelli Market Fresh, your home for the freshest locally sourced ingredients to please everyone who loves great food. Our organic meats, quality seafood, and free-range poultry are cut fresh to order. Chefs create culinary-inspired prep foods made fresh every day, which pair nicely with our vast selection of fine wines and spirits. Choose from handmade pastas, artisan cheeses, organic produce, and grocery items, all from the finest purveyors. Rostelli Market Fresh, from our family to yours. RVN TV is a platform for people of any industry to share their story. Over 285,000 viewers are tuning in to RVN TV shows monthly. We guarantee a great experience that you'll be sharing with everyone you know while increasing your personal and company's brand awareness. But what is your brand? 
According to Forbes, it's a combination of your logo, your product, your design and feel, and your personality. Did you know that aside from being a guest, we offer even more opportunity to boost your brand? Adding your company logo and website on screen during your interview will allow viewers to recognize your brand instantly. Incorporating images and video clips is another great way to showcase your product during your live segment. Let viewers see how good you really are. And most importantly, there's you and your interview. For less than the cost of a newspaper, direct mail, or a magazine ad, you can leave our studio and within 48 hours have a permanent digital copy of your live segment. show your shirts in action. So let's cue up those pictures that you've brought us because I want you to see, and Nancy, if you could just tell us a little bit about what we're seeing. Sure, so this is one of our ladies' blouses, really cute white salad. You can dress it up, dress it down. We have darts in the front of the blouse and the back. The sides are tailored. And again, you can see how the buttons are on the front placket and the cuff, but the Velcro is hidden and strategically placed so you can't tell that it's adaptive. And I love that, and we can go to the next picture, but I love how sleek they look. So you also have men's, right, men's wear, you can? Yes, thank you, yes. yep. So we currently <laughs> have the men's Oxfords in blue and white in long and short sleeve. And again, we keep the buttons on the front placket and cuff for that traditional appearance. You can dress it up or dress it down. This model looks great in his khaki, so he can wear that to work or out to dinner, or just hang it out. You really can style it any way you want. Right. I love that, okay. Oh, look at that. They're both wearing it together. I yes. love that photo. Yes. Okay, so, so again, this is for all ages, but right here, you know, as we age, it, it might become a little bit more difficult. Our bodies do become more stiff, it, whether or not we're going through anything. Right. So it's something that, you know, and then you can shop together with your partner, which is fun. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know what to get. Exactly, exactly. All right. And then here we go again, we got another one from the menswear. He's wearing it more casually. So there's just a lot of versatility in your line. Right. Which is amazing. And then we've got one more, which I know is the, <gasps> tell us about this photo, please. Oh my God, I love this. So this was a photo shoot that we did prior to a disability pride fashion show at City Hall in Philadelphia. Wow. So this was a model call. I love this photo. They're all wearing smart adaptive clothing. And we just said, you know, go for it, have some fun against that color block wall. It's actually downtown, right near Temple University. And that captures the essence of what we want at Smart Adaptive Clothing, where you're happy, you're free, you're wearing something cool and stylish and fun, and all ages, like you just mentioned. I love that, and I def that picture is a great one to show all of that. But let's actually go to now the big reveal, right? Yeah. Because I want you to show everybody at home how effortless this is, because that's also a part of the essence of Smart Adaptive Clothing, right? Okay. So go ahead, let's go. I've got this amazing polka dot is very in right now. So <laughs> I love this, and, and it's, it's easy, right? I just kind of open it. Yes, And then exactly. I would just connect it. So if I had some arthritis or any type of you know illness it's as quick as just a little push right no sh no pulling no dexterity really too much to get into it's just a push pat it pat right. it it's padded yeah mm -hmm. and then we have also got them around here and so the buttons are kind of a um, they're a camouflage would you say what would you say the buttons um, are a little bit of I usually say it's more of a, a typical traditional appearance, right, for the aesthetic. Okay. Versus right. the functionality. I got you, but it is very functional, because look how easy this is. Right? Very quick, and then very quick to go back on. I'm actually not even looking. It's perfect. <laughs> it is perfect. And we've got it back on, and then we've got one in the menswear, right? Yes, so. Um, that's also another one. Another version, and we, and this one, again, the buttons are on the front placket, and we use a strip of Velcro on the men's, they seem to like it a little stronger. Wow, okay. And you just pat it down. It's also on the cuffs. And I've actually done, uh, I do a lot of presentations. And when I recently did a presentation for a, a Parkinson's support group, 
I had one gentleman and one woman come up to the front as I was presenting. They both tried on the clothing and purchased it. And the gentleman there told us it took him 15 minutes just to do one button on his cuff. Oh my goodness. Then there are seven more on the placket and one on the cuff. So, so you're giving them back their time. Their time. That's amazing. Okay. So now tell me about this because you did share a very heartwarming story about how this started with your father and when he broke his hips and he also had Alzheimer's. And so you really wanted to make something that was functional, gave him his dignity back. Right. You wanted to see him as the caregiver back into his normal attire. Right. So tell us though because you know, I don't know what that's like, fortunately, for myself right now. So take us through some things that people might be feeling um, and, and how you had to discover this in order to come up with the clothing. Okay, that's, well, helpless comes to mind, mm -hmm. no matter what. I, I felt helpless as a caregiver, and I didn't physically dress my dad, but I was responsible for my dad. Mm -hmm. And you just feel helpless, and you feel a loss, and you feel that, dignity slipping away and it's just a horrible feeling so my father actually passed away in the summer of 2016 thank you and I left my career a year and a half later because it just it bothered me it was just like inside stop talking about it stop thinking about it do something mm -hmm. so without a fashion background or anything I just jumped in you did something yes awesome and now you took yourself through lots of research for it and you mentioned to me about a dementia tour yes so take take me through that a little bit because you've got like the gloves here and things mm -hmm. like that what does it feel like for somebody like such as the person you mentioned earlier with Parkinson's like what do they go through okay so the dementia tour it's amazing if you ever see it in the local area please go out and try it because it relates to cognitive issues too so if someone could have a brain injury or some other type of cognitive issue so at the dementia tour it's so powerful you put on these plastic gloves think of the gloves that they use at the lunch meat counter yes i mean it's mm -hmm. basically what they are on both hands and then these heavy gloves Wow. So you can't feel anything, your typical tactile sensation. They also give you headphones with a, a Walkman and glasses. So picture a really loud, sunglasses, a really loud Walkman, if you remember those. Yes. Oh, yes, I do. I actually might have someone <laughs> still hiding somewhere. <laughs> so <do I. laughs> and they're screaming at you, and then you, as the person telling me what to do, you say, okay, here are these 10 things that you have to go do, but you can't function, you can't hear, you didn't hear what the person said. The sunglasses are marked up as if you have cataracts. Oh, goodness. Then the fire alarm goes off, and you're supposed to do these tasks in a small room. So it gives you that feeling of someone with dementia and Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. They have no idea what's going on. They're scared to death. They can't process things. And then, you know, picture being in sweats or a t-shirt, like, hello. Right. It, it lowers that quality of life. It doesn't make you feel as good about yourself. So you're bringing confidence. And this is this just sounds absurd to me because it's taking away all of your senses, you know, everything that helps us to live. And people are living with these things. Right. And it's heartbreaking. Yeah. So you had to do this research to understand that. So that's something to think about at home. You know, when you do put, I mean, these are for the oven. When you put right. these on, think about like, Oh my goodness they're heavy you know things like that when you put on your sunglasses it's to block you from the sun but imagine having sunglasses on all the time all the time and then having to get dressed and then having to feel good about yourself right you know with what you're putting on so then this the shirts make it way easier which I love so now you wanted to show us something else that's really helpful as a caregiver that you were able to um, develop uh, discover this right that they use um, like maybe occupational therapists, yes. things like that. And mm -hmm. you've worked with occupational therapists before too. So I have, yes. this is something that they use. So go ahead and talk about that a little bit for me. And that's great if someone is learning how to dress themselves again. Maybe they had a stroke. Maybe they had rotator cuff surgery. Maybe they had a spinal cord injury and all kinds of things. So for this example, we're just going to, I'm putting on one of our Oxford cloths. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we're acting as if I have uh, limited mobility in my left shoulder. So this is called the dressing stick. This isn't something that we sell, but you can buy it online anywhere. Just Google it. It's amazing. And it's to help you dress. So I'm just going to pull the shirt around. 
And this is what happens with people. With, I mean, even I know someone who recently had shoulder surgery, mm -hmm. but maybe they have to still go back to work after they do. like a week, you know? So how can they dress appropriately, appropriately for that? So you grab it. Wow, look at that. Okay, so you grab there and you can just tuck your it. shoulder down if you can and then pull it around, right? Oh wow, look at that. It's okay. amazing. Okay, amazing. And then especially with this sleeve too, and we didn't do this, I, I wanted to kind of grab this before, but you can open it up because it's the Velcro. So with your adaptive clothing, it's so much easier to then slip that arm through, Right. which I love. So wow, so that's something that, again, you've had to research to know, like this is what it feels like. Yes. Yeah, and so this, what, what's this called again? The dressing the stick. The dressing stick, okay. Uh -huh. And that was so simple, you just kind of pull it around and put it over top. Right. And then after that, it's not 15 minutes, like you mentioned earlier, it's a quick push, Voila. push, push. And then look at that. <laughs> and now, so I think that's amazing. That's gonna be a great tip for people at home. And so what I really wanna mention too, because you do have a lot, is you can also style this up and down. So you just open it up, voila, right? Yes. You can wear a tank under it, anything like that. Right. I just think this is so amazing. So thank you so much, Nancy, for being on the show today. If you have any questions, tell them where they can reach you and how they can connect with you or, or find out more about the shirts. Okay, thank you for inviting me, I love it. So you can find us at smartadaptiveclothing.com. You can follow us on Instagram, Smart Adaptive Clothing, Facebook, Smart Adaptive Clothing, YouTube, Smart Adaptive Clothing, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's have some fun and help people. Yes, I love it, and she keeps it simple for you. So thank you again for joining us on Around the Table. I am your host, Daniela, and we will see you again next week, Tuesdays at 10 on RVN TV. Yay.